Neil, do you and your wife, with your children, are, we, are you scientific with the facts or do you go with myths like the tooth fairy no, and no, the stork? We're, we're, my wife has a, a PhD in mathematical physics. Right. So, so our, the experimentation we did on our kids... <laughs> <laughs> and the night took a real turn. <laughs> yeah, it took a... It was so going great. It seemed like no, yeah, no, no, after that. No, so, no, okay, I'll give an example. I'll give an example. <laughs> when, the, okay. when their teeth start coming out, right, what do you yeah. do? So uh, we're not going to lie to them, all right? Because the universe is amazing enough to have to invent stuff just to keep kids entertained. Mm. So what we said was, we heard that if you put your tooth under the pillow, a tooth fairy comes. We're not sure. We just heard. They put the tooth under the pillow. We swapped it out, all right? And they said, look, Mommy, Daddy, the tooth fairy came. We said, how do you know it was the tooth fairy? <laughs> and then she thought about it. There's my daughter. She said, oh, no, I don't know. I just know that there's money here. So she started setting up booby traps for the two, like, crinkly aluminum foil on the ground so she would wake up yeah. and walk in. She had one of these dream catchers, hoping she could catch the fairy yeah. in the dream catcher, but she didn't work. At school, she got together with her friends and said, we think it might be our parents who are doing this. Yeah. If it is, whoever's tooth comes out at school, don't tell your parents. Put that tooth under the pillow and see what happens the next day. And it stayed a tooth. So they performed the experiment yeah. to demonstrate that the parents are the tooth fairy. And I'm thinking, this is how adults should behave. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, yeah. To distinguish fantasy from reality. And don't tell me that, oh, they need the tooth fairy set to, for childhood. They play with dolls. And uh, is a girl thinking that the Barbie is real? This plastic, no, it's something they play with and imagine with. But you're not lying to them. You're not saying, this is actually real. No, they, they can use their imagination for things where imagination belongs, but not some hoax perpetrated by adults on children. Wow, that was a much deeper question than the answer to the question. Yeah.